Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SPC Tutorials. As you all know, my name is Dr. Joseph. Please, as you are watching this video, and then to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Before I jump into today's topic, I want to wish you a happy Sunday, and I want to say a very big thank you to those who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you know you are yet to do so, please do it so that God bless you uh immensely okay so let's jump into today's topic chemical changes during cleavage you know cleavage is a series of cell division or division that actually results in the formation of what multicellular what body called embryo and for an embryo to be formed zygote must be formed first so the process whereby zygote splits into different entities called blastomers or cleave cleavage cell it's called what? Cleavage. That is by the way. Now let's look at the various changes that take place during cleavage. One, all right. Um, what? Okay. Active cytoplasm, the amount of active cytoplasm is increased. The amount of active cytoplasm is what? Increased. And two, or uh, yolk or food reserves all right are transformed are transformed into into active cytoplasm my emphasis is on this yolk excuse me you know that yolk can actually store food all right storage of food and secondly, it is also responsible for the um, provision of nutrients for the developing what, embryo. That is, it provides nutrients for developing embryo. It can also what, store food molecules. That is one. You know that yolk is not a chemical substance. No. It is just a mixture of different protein substances. And these substances are actually called foods. Vitin. All right, we have we now have a um, lipovitlin. No, that is double L. You have phospholipids and what neutral fat. So these are the constituents of yolk, and of course, not that yolk occurs in the second. Uh, second period of what cell division and it's made up of phosphitin, lipovitlin, phospholipids, and what neutral fat. Okay, yolk is said to be protein yolk when it contains more proteins. All right, the yolk is said to be proteinous, or yes, it's a yolk is said to be proteinous when it contains more protein. And it tends to be fatty. It tends to be what? Fatty when it contains more uh, phospholipids and what? Fat. Yolk is said to be fatty when it contains phospholipids and what? Fat. And it's said to be protein yolk when it contains what? More protein. Which means the type of yolk that is proteinous is said to be what? A yolk protein or protein what yolk that is for that so this yolk is transformed into what active cytoplasm okay then number three the rate of respiration increases or you say that's number three respiration respiration increases steadily or constantly all right respiration increases steadily or what constantly then number four there's increase in metabolic activities there's increase in metabolic metabolic what activities you know metabolism is okay activities there's increase in metabolic activities you know metabolism means the sum total chemical reaction that takes place on the inside of a living cell 
all right this increase in metabolic activities all right could be anabolic could be anabolic oh god almighty what kind of marker is this this increase in metabolic activities could be anabolic and anabolic activity is what building up activity or well, say sentences all right metabolic activity could also be what catabolic that is what break it down so all of these processes occur in the cell all right there's increase in metabolic activities these activities could be anabolic that is building up or stensizing it could be it could be catabolic breaking or what splitting so take note of that it is very important now number five there's increase in nuclear materials there's increase in what nuclear materials at the expense of the cytoplasm you can see the markers are faint so i'm going to be doing more of talking than writing okay there's increase in nuclear materials at the expense of what the cytoplasm at the expense of the cytoplasm it therefore means that during cleavage during cleavage the nuclei increases double that is increases by a factor of two as it undergoes cleavage, it means that the quantity of, nu of nuclei increases in the cytoplasm. That is, what it, that is what it means to say that it increases, that is nuclear materials increases at the expense of the cytoplasm, which means that increase in the rate of cleavage also results in what? Increase in, nu in, the, in the number of nuclei present in the cytoplasm please take note of that okay then number six and a kind of them called sea urchins and a kind of them called sea urchin please the the egg cytoplasm of a sea urchin has lots of rna ribonucleic acid please see or that is the egg of this egg cytoplasm of a sea urchin has large quantity or la has large amount of what RONA that is ribonucleic acid however as the process continues all right this this large quantity of what RONA disappears what did I say I said that the egg of the egg cytoplasm of a sea urchin has large amounts of RONA However, as, as the process continues, what happens? It disappears. It disappears during the period of what? Development. During the period of development. Notes. It is worthy of notes. Please. Ribonuclide. 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 All right. Ribonu. Oh, God. Ribonuclide is converted to the Aussie ribonuclide Come on, this marker is just your, reducing me seriously Please, ribonuclide is converted to the Aussie ribo Okay, it should be rib ribonuclide Yeah? Is converted to this by ribonucleotide. Oh, oh, good, good. Nice one, nice one. Please, ribonucleotide. Ribonucleotide. Sorry. Ribonucleotide is converted to the Aussie ribonucleotide. Good, good. All right. Ribonucleotide is converted to ribonucleotide. But by ribonucleotide reductase. So the enzyme that converts ribonucleotide to the other ribonucleotide is called what? Ribonucleotide reductase.
take note of that. You know, I was taking it for ribonucleic acid. You know? So please, in sea urchin, all right, the egg cytoplasm has large amounts of RNA, but as the process continues, it disappears during the process of what? development. And secondly, I said ribonucleotide is converted to deoxyribonucleotide by an enzyme called what? Ribonucleotide reductase. All right, take note of that. Uh, on another note, all right, uh, DNA, all right, DNA is also present in the egg cytoplasm of some animals. All right, DNA is also present in the egg cytoplasm of some animals, such as amphibians and insects. I refilled this marker just now. I don't know why they are messing up now. All right, I said DNA is, pre is present in the egg cytoplasm of some animals, such as amphibians or what? Insects. Secondly, this DNA presence in the egg cytoplasm can also be found in the mitochondria. Can also be found in the mitochondria and protein platelets. Platelet, right? I said DNA is found in the egg cytoplasm of some animals. Examples are amphibians and what insects. And this cytoplasmic DNA are found in the mitochondria and what? Protein, platelet. So these are the changes that actually take place. These are the chemical changes that actually take place during what? Cleavage. We are not done. All right. There's also DNA sequences from low molecular material, from low molecular what? Materials. Oh God, why are these markers messing up? All right, there's also DNA sequences from low molecular materials in the cells called amino acid glycine. So, which means that in okay, during the sequences of DNA, all right, which means that DNA is sequenced from low molecular materials present in the cell and these low molecular materials are amino acid gly glycine so these are monomans and this one is what polymer take note of that that is good notes notes during the cleavage of the egg of sea urchin why are they always using this a kind of them? I don't know what's special about the sea urchin. Now, during the cleavage of sea urchin, its eggs were, were taken into water containing carbon 14. All right, during the cleavage of the eggs of sea urchins, the egg of sea urchins were placed into water containing what carbon 14 and this carbon 14 was was labeled glycine was labeled glycine then after you know that carbon 14 is a radioactive element so after that what now happens the carbon 14 which is the radioactive element passed through uh ribonucleotide or ribonucleic acid to the Aussie ribonucleic acid all right so which means that once the eggs as soon as the eggs of sea urchins were inserted or were put into water containing carbon 14 and this carbon 14 was labeled what glycine and you know that carbon 14 is a radioactive element what what now happened it was discovered that this carbon 14 passed through rna into what dna so these are the changes that actually occur during cleavage another one i just remembered another one 
Now, uh, sea urchins, okay, during fertilization in sea urchins, all right, there's large, um, there's large synthesis of what? Protein, which means the synthesis of protein is what? Increased. In sea urchins, during fertilization, all right, the synthesis of protein is what? Increased. And this increase in protein uh, quantity continues throughout the period of cleavage, which means it does not what continue now but in mammals in mammals these proteins are not marked it therefore means that there will only be increase in protein sentences when rate of respiration is increased in sea urchins during fertilization sentences of protein is what increased and this continues throughout the period of what cleavage but in mammals there will only be increase in protein sentences when the rate of respiration is what increased take note of that therefore we have different types of proteins and their respective function take for example what is called protein histones protein histone is a type of protein needed for for dn for chromosome replication right protein histones are actually needed for chromosome what replication that is number one number two type of protein is called tubulin tubulin and this type of protein is actually found in the protein constituents is found in the protein constituents of microtubule needed needed for for the formation of what spindle fiber so tubulin is a type of protein found that is that make up microtubule and these tubulins are needed this okay you have tubulin being the constituent of microtubule and this microtubule is needed for the formation of what spindle fiber the function of snow fiber is to enhance what? Cell division, all right? Cell division. Okay. The third type of protein is the ribonucleic acid reductase. All right. This is also a, this is also another type of protein. And the fourth type of protein is DNA polymerase. Right, DNA polymerase, and this type of protein is also needed for DNA for chromosome what? replication. For chromosome replication, it therefore means that protein histone and DNA polymerase are needed for chromosome replication. But tubulin is the building block of microtubule, and this microtubule is needed for the formation of a spinal fiber for cell division you have ribonucleic acid reductase which is also a type of protein you have dna polymerase what does it do it is needed for chromosome replication so these are the chemical changes that actually occur during cleavage now the next topic or the next of topic is the characteristics of the period of development of cleavage Characteristics of the period of development of cleavage. Number one is that the zygotes, you know, zygotes is a unicellular diploid fertilized cell, right? You know that zygotes is a unicellular diploid fertilized cell, all right? It undergoes mitotic all right mitotic division it undergoes mitotic division to produce a multi cellular complex or body called what embryo the characteristics of the period of development of cleavage when I said zygotes being a unicellular diploid fertilized 
cell undergoes mitotic division to produce multicellular complex called what embryo at this stage all right the chromosome the chromosome has the appearance has the appearance and structure of somatic otherwise called body chromosome so at this point all right at this point where the zygote undergoes mitosis to produce embryo the chromosome appears somatic like body what chromosome all right number two is that no growth there is no growth it then implies that a blastoma a blastoma does not increase all right before the next period of division begins however it only becomes half its original what size all right a blastoma does not increase all right however it only becomes half its original what size so there is no growth all right then number three number three uh see listen uh, the shape the shape and structure of the embryo does not change the shape and structure of the embryo does not change uh, but the formation the formation of all right the formation of the cavity interiorly to the embryo called blastocoel changes the shape and structure of the embryo does not change it remains the same okay however the formation of a cavity let me use the word now the formation of a cavity inside the embryo only changes and this cavity is called what blastocoil and this cavity is a is a fluid filled cavity right this cavity is actually filled with what fluid take note of that okay now during uh this period or during the period of cleavage during the period of cleavage the cytoplasmic materials are not in, that is they are not decreased in the sense that they remain the same throughout the period of what cleavage all right which means before the beginning or before cleavage commences or before uh, what is called the, before the period or process of cleavage commences or starts the constituents of the cytoplasm does not change in other words the various parts of the cytoplasm does not change before cleavage begins and secondly the quantity of nucleus all right, the ratio of nucleus to cytoplasm, which is low at the beginning, which is low at the beginning, all right, the ratio of nucleus to cytoplasm, which is low at the beginning, is also same at the end at the end so which means that the quantity of nucleus to cytoplasm remains the same that is at first it was low then at the end of the cleavage process it is also low all right so which means the quantity of nucleus to cytoplasm which is low at the beginning is also same at the end of what excuse me at the end of what cleavage it is given as volume of volume of nucleus over 
volume of cytoplasm is equals what is one over five five zero it therefore means that volume of cytoplasm is 550 while volume of nucleus is what one so this is a ratio of the volume of nucleus to that of what cytoplasm take note of that please take note that the period of cleavage in different animals varies the period of cleavage in different animals varies so in in goldfish all right period of cleavage it lasts for 20 minutes all right in frog it may last almost almost for an hour all right then in mammals in mammals the period of cleavage occurs between 10 and 20 hours at a, at a temperature of what, 37 degrees Celsius. Then mouse, so the period of cleavage in mouse is very much slower. Or it is, it is much more slower. Or the, that is, cleavage is much more slower in mouse. And you have in mammals, it requires 10 to 20 hours at the temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, but the frog it, it occurs almost an hour, then in golden fish just 20, 20 minutes. It therefore means that period of cleavage uh, is faster in uh, goldfish, all right, an hour, 20, 10 to uh, 20 hour. Then this one very slow so it means that cleavage occurs faster in gold fish so at this point we call it a day thanks for watching do have a wonderful day please endeavor to subscribe like share and comment do have a wonderful day